Welcome back to another episode of The Daily Beer. Today we're talking about atropine drops for your child and why you should definitely not give your child atropine drops to prevent myopia progression. Most of this has links below. You should do more reading if you want to understand how atropine drops works. I, this video is mainly why you shouldn't be using that stuff. Very, very, very short version, dilates child's pupils, prevents some of the accommodative reflex in a child's eye, accommodative reflex, close-up vision, the real question is not, should I give my child atropine drops, to which the answer is definitely not. The real question is, why does my child have myopia symptoms in the first place, right? Like taking that step back and not just going straight to the treatment, treatment without understanding the problem, right? Way too common. We're relying way too much on people that give us a quick symptom treatment before moving on to the next per pa patient, person, instead of doing a little bit of research. Links below. I'm going to keep saying links below in this video because there's a ton of reading that I can't compress into just five minutes. I just want to give you enough clues and hints to know where to look for actual answers that are not just little shortcuts, right? Atropine drops will slow myopia progression. It's not going to prevent it. It's going to slow it. It's only going to work as long as you give the child atropine drops and the child's going to experience side effects like sensitivity to light because the pupil is dilated, right? Sensitivity of light to light is the opposite of what you want because you want your child to play outside. You don't want your child to feel as though the eyes are handicapped in a way which they are just by the atropine drops, which are just slowing down something that's inevitable if you don't address the child's environment, right? Like self-serving content. If your child's watching videos on an iPad, playing on a smartphone, that's a no-no, right? Like alcohol and caffeine and screens are three things, three things that are no, 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 no for a child, right? Like watching cartoons at, v at normal TV distance, whatever, fine. These screens, no. Books for homework shouldn't be at this distance. The things that start myopia tons of links on this below is a strain symptom it's not a mysterious genetic defect unless your child has a diagnosed medical condition from an ophthalmologist that is not just hey suddenly my child has limited clear distance vision right like if it's a medical issue i'm not giving you any any advice or advice in general problem though is this this is what's causing the child not to see clearly at a distance if you give atropine drops the effects of that will slow, but you're not addressing the problem. So the problem is going to be waiting to continue to expand. Once you give your child's glasses, myopia is going to progress by about adopt a year. If you're a quote unquote good parent and go back to the optometrist every year, it's going to get significantly worse. Lens induced myopia, Google Scholar, the stuff on that links below. You, you want to go take a giant step back from atropine drops and go, I'm going to invest a little bit of time to understand my child's eyesight, understand what's going on, understand how our current environment is not conducive to my child having good eyesight, right? You're not watching this video if your kid is spending three hours a day playing outside and the rest of the time playing inside, not being exposed to screens, having healthy, good distance from books and not going to the optometrist for glasses. You're not watching this video because your kid's fine. I have a five-year-old not allowed to play on screens. Zero. Zero time to play on screens. His eyes are fantastic. And that obviously is not any kind of scientific proof. I'm just saying you will find that there's a definitive and absolute very close correlation between this and the onset of myopia because it's a muscle strain symptom. And atropine for a short period of time makes that muscle not be able to get tight, right? And the tightness of the muscle is the beginning of the problem. Atropine stops the muscle from working correctly, slows myopia progression, but what really would slow myopia progression is not over tightening this muscle in the first place, which is what you want to do. This whole thing, the, the theme here is whether it's food or nutrition or exercise or eyesight, all connected and all, you maybe want to move away from some symptom treatment into a space where you invest the time to understand these things instead of just quote unquote blindly trusting somebody who's just going to give you a pill or an eye drop and say this will help things for a little while right like i literally and this is a little side digression since we still have 15 seconds left i went to a doctor because i had lower back pain and i wanted to have a bunch of stuff checked out and what they said is here's some painkiller you're almost 50 it's normal right 
those are the answers that I personally run away from and I do more research and understanding to fix an actual problem instead of just going, oh, okay, I'm just gonna eat this pill then, right? Atropine drops are a bad idea. Links below on how atropine works should give you a moment of pause of whether that's a good idea to stick in your child's eye. All you need to do is limit this and give a good ratio of less of this and more distance time, right? I should have done this whole video at this distance. Like distance prevents myopia onset, prevents the muscle from being too tight from too much close vision. That's where you want to start. That's where you want to start. That's it for this video. If you've been watching The Daily Beard, I'm gonna try and not have so many serious topics and things that I've discussed elsewhere in general. This just because it's come up literally twice yesterday or the day before, and I felt the need to address it in one of these. Tomorrow, we're gonna talk about something less serious. And by the way, this is, so we were doing three days of no smartphone. Yesterday was the first day, it was amazing. I wanna talk about this today, but since I already promised atropine, on that, more on that tomorrow. I hope you're enjoying some no smartphone time. See you tomorrow. Meow, 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 meow.